Wang Yi's visit was only confirmed five days ago. His welcome from New Zealand's Foreign Minister Winston Peters, one of the few events open to the media. There'll be no news conference. Peters says China is New Zealand's most important and complex bilateral relationship. Important because China is New Zealand's biggest trading partner. Complex because New Zealand, a United States ally, is concerned about China's spreading influence across the Pacific. The complexity is how do we manage relations with a very different political power uh, in a way where our interests are still met. Another friction point, New Zealand's interest in joining a new security pact between the United States, Australia and Britain, known as AUKUS. China's warned New Zealand that joining would put their relations at risk. The most important part of Wang Yi's trip will come later this week when he visits Australia, where a political debate is deepening over how to respond to China's growing military power in the Asia-Pacific region. So I think the priority for China is obviously stabilizing the relationship with Australia, which over the last sort of five, six years has really had um, a, a number of different issues to the point where, you know, high level communication between the Australian and the Chinese governments was, was blocked for, for a good number of time. It's 10 years since New Zealand signed a comprehensive strategic partnership with China. Since then, its exports to China have doubled. China's ambassador said recently he hopes that trade continues to flourish. China stands ready to work with New Zealand on the basis of mutual respect, mutual benefit, non-interference in each other's internal affairs and constructive management of differences. Like his predecessors, New Zealand's Prime Minister Christopher Luxon must try to strike a balance between his country's security alliance with the United States and its lucrative trade partnership with China. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Wellington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.